Hi Libra, I'm Alicia. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love lives or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. Librans, this is a super active planetary month for all of us. We have Mars that is already retrograde till about the end of, Mar end of uh, August. We have uh, Mercury that is going retrograde end of July and we have two eclipses. So the flavor of the month Librans is change and um, as much as you love harmony and you love to jump in and sort of smooth the pillow covers and uh, sort out all the confrontations and arguments, this is a month wherein uh, Try not to get so upset with this harmony. It's a month of sitting back and uh, literally being the spectator in your life. Just sit back and chill and let things take their own natural recourse. Um, as much as uh, um, there is a need in you for balance, for harmony, uh, to create the perfect equilibrium, uh, this month you will have to bite back your tongue a lot of times and uh, you may have to sort of turn your head the other way and cut some slack for people. People around you are going to be changing their minds all the time. They're going to be changing their decisions. You could be doing that as well and, and that's quite alright. Let me break down the month for you. On the 10th we have Venus and uh, she's your ruling uh, planet and she moves to your house of behind the scenes. This is a house of spirituality, it is a house of compassion, service. It's a house also where we go and undo ourselves. Uh, it's a house of secrets, of scandals, of spirituality, of recharging our emotional batteries. Now Venus is uh, bringing out here a lot of gentleness. Um, it is uh, encouraging you to meditate, to, to get more centered, to be with yourself, be aware of your thoughts, be aware of um, what the thought process is, where it is that your mind is taking you. Be mindful of the stories that your mind is telling you. It's a great time to be studying all the esoteric subjects, astrology, tarot, a great time to be learning how to do Reiki or to get uh, Reiki as well. A great time to be getting therapy as well. Friends. On the 12th, we have a new moon solar eclipse and it is joining sun in your own house of career. And uh, it's a lovely placement. It speaks about opportunities to create a new direction for yourself. It speaks about... Uh, um, it speaks about... Uh, being able to uh, being able to put your you may experience a lot of changes at your workplace during this time labrans it, it can be that you could be doing multiple things it could be that the role of uh, the, the work that you're doing uh, is requires you to play different hats um, your career also as well you could be wearing you could be doing multiple things, you could be involved in different things at the same time. But it's a, uh, it's a wonderful time to be seeing the larger picture and seeing as to how it is that you contribute in the world. How it is that and where it is that you see yourself. Um, what is the value that you're bringing to the world really? What is it that you're really doing? Uh, how is it that you're putting yourself and whether it is putting your mind to use and earning money and creating a better life for yourself or helping those who are not so fortunate as you so this entire new moon is encouraging it's creating opportunities to create more wealth which you can share with others on the 23rd we have sun that moves into your house of friendship so quite a lovely time you have um, Maybe you could be making new friends, it's a new community it speaks about, it, it, it's speaking about um, maybe being a part of a larger circle which has the same ambition and drive as, uh, or objective as you do. Uh, on the 27th we have Mercury that is going retrograde till about 20th of August and it is going in your house of friendship. So time to be re-evaluating your friendships, dear friends. Take a closer look at uh, what value uh, are your friends bringing uh, to you. So maybe it, it, it's a time to let some people go. Maybe it's the time to 
um, look at friendships, maybe the larger circle of it and bring it down closer. Maybe if earlier there were 10 friends, maybe now they just need to be two and, and that's quite all, uh, all right. On the, same day, on the same day itself, we have a full moon lunar eclipse. And this is happening in your house of love, romance, creativity and children. So something is coming to a closure for you. Maybe a creative project uh, is coming to an end. Maybe for some of you it is... Uh, um, maybe for some of you it, it speaks about uh, taking a decision as far as your work is concerned. Something that you're really passionate about and you move over there. Um, for some of you, it could mean that something for your child uh, finishes now, it, it, it reaches a culmination. However, with Mars being retrograde, try and see that your children are uh, you're not really into you know, risky sports and uh, you know, which could cause them any harm. So try and uh, be a little careful around that side. Um, also, this speaks about your creativity. How creative are you in your daily life? How it is that you're bringing about the creativity in your day-to-day -day sphere of life? It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Librans. I'll see you again soon. And thank you so much for watching.